Hello and welcome to the 4 point tutorial video. 4 points is a brand new inner extension inside Screwed 1.2. For now it's only on Android but we are looking forward to get it going for iOS as soon as we finish the development here, which should be now achieved by releasing this newest update. 4 points is as mirror a new in-app extension, so you got this regular screwed like here. But if you continue and to, to the export dialog, you see open a mirror or open in four points. And this marks a complete new way generation feeling world, name it however you like, of image correction. It's not really like image correction, it's maybe even more like image manipulation because like the name is already um, aiming to, you can now manipulate the four individual corners of this image. And we've really tried to nail this com more or less complex problem with a very easy UI that you first have to kind of get into. And this is why I'm trying now to explain to you the two main different ways how to edit with four points. We're starting off with touch control, which is this button in the middle here. So you have to imagine having a full rule of third grid over your whole screen, not just the image. This is important over your whole screen. And now when I tap and drag, the top right corner of my screen, I actually drag the top right images corner outside of my frame here. You can see with some simple swipes, I adjust some corrections and now on the other side it works the same way. So by tapping and dragging on the left top corner, I actually move the images top left corner outside of my frame. So if I grab in between, I can move these two top corners. It's the same when I tap in the middle on the, of the sides or at the bottom, it really works around the clock the really same way. When I decide to tap and drag both sections at the same time, you can see I'm just doing a really regular classic conventional perspective correction, which is pretty, pretty easy to use. And now I'm gonna push it up a bit down here and you're gonna notice that you do not have um, a tap and hold for before and after. We're using this gesture for something else, but we have a dedicated before and after button at the top. So with some simple drags, we did this correction. It's super easy and super cool. Um, if you tap the middle, you can completely readjust the image's composition. So this could also mean that you do not have to send it back to screw it for cropping. But if you like, of course you can, because this is an interdependent app system now, having four points mirror and screw it inside of one app, switching in between seamlessly, it is really brilliant. So now, if you decide to go a bit too crazy with your image, let me show you. You see like this, for example, you get, you're gonna see this background here. I'm gonna switch off the grid really quick. You're gonna see this background here and this red indicator. And in addition to that, we got an active line indicator around the image telling you when your composition is absolutely inside of your original image's frame. So again, we got different sections of the image and depending on which one you touch, you are moving them. So when I now touch and grab in the middle, I can actually zoom out, maybe do some rotation. You see, it's once you get it, it's really simple and you're gonna understand it and the gestures that you see are gonna be like so good that you will not stop having fun editing and trying out new images because this is really opening up a completely new way of picture editing. And because we got this all touch interface, the biggest problem for me always has been that none of the apps like having these kind of functionalities, at least to some point, have had a one step back button, which in my opinion is very important. So you now can go every step back that you've just made. So because it's pretty hard to say, you know, when you do like some little swipe adjustments and you swipe and you mess something up, you can just tap and go back and try it again. Tap, go back, try it again. It's super easy to use, super convenient and super nice. Touch control is off. You can freely move your frame around. So this does mean you can zoom in, pan around and now for example edit or zoom out and see which kind of image information you'd like to have inside of the image. There's a really nice little super subtle overlay. So you, it's not distracting you from editing the image, but you can still kind of guess where's the line, where's the important maybe part of the image that you do not see here. Simply switch it on again, zoom in. And if you fully reset, the frame and everything is gonna reset to the standard how you have started four points. It is super nice. And this is only the first way of how you can edit with this super powerful app.
With the second image I like to show you how to work with the corner selectors at the bottom here. So now when I tap this one here I'm selecting the top left corner and now I can touch and drag wherever on the screen and manipulate this corner's position. Now I can do my corrections, it's not like with um, touch control, my, my, my fingers are not always in the composition, some people may more feel this and now if I want to go for the bottom left corner I can just tap the bottom left corner selector button and manipulate this position too easily. If I decide or if I'd like to select multiple corners at the same time I just tap and hold the corner and now I've got both selected, one step back, I got both selected and do all these classic adjustments that I can also do with um, the touch control or even with screw it. Here we go, before and after, some little adjustments, but now there's one really big benefit from having these corner selectors. We now added tapping for super precise editing. So I've now selected this one, I'm gonna switch on my grid because I want this pole to be super straight. I've selected the bottom right corner and now when I tap, you have to think again in this rule of third grid, when I tap now the right side, I am just very gently moving um, the corner out just with my taps. When I tap at the bottom, I move it down when I tap it at the top, I move it up. So you can select multiple or just one corner and by tapping you can go super precise, which is super nice if you just wanna go more precise with your editing. Let's finish this tutorial with one full edit. I'm going for this image, I'm gonna tap. Yeah, the size is all right. And now I'm gonna import it to screw it. I could now go for some little ends correction I don't need to do any other corrections, so I'm just gonna, with a swipe gesture, confirm the settings and now open it with four points. Why well, can now, with the touch control on, simply with some little gestures, correct the image's perspective, which already looks quite good to me. Tapping for the before and after. And let's see, I think the top left corner could use some little fine tuning. I mean with the top right corner too, not at the same time. And maybe I'd like both to be when I switch on the grid nearly at this edge. And of course this one here. I'm gonna switch everything off just to so have a check where some image information that I could maybe use for my image. But I think that's perfectly fine. Another before and after. And this is already looking quite good. Now, I could go and save it anywhere, input a new image immediately into four points when you're already activated into four points. I could send it to Instagram, save it to my gallery, or just going and send it to screw it. I don't want to go for a crop, I'd like to check out mirror now. So when I open up mirror, I got this perfectly straight image from screw it plus four points. But now, maybe there's something else I could do with it. So let me see, oh, yeah. I think that's quite nice. So what we got here is a full perspective and lens correction feature, which is named Screw It, a full perspective manipulation and super high precise super editing tool for any kind of distortion named Four Points. And with Mirror, we are closing the deal with the most precise mirroring tool with which you can just do whatever you like to and go really fancy and crazy and creative. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little showcase and do understand why I am so proud and so happy to for Four Points to finally be inside of Screw It Android. Sorry for iOS, we have not forgotten about you. We're a small team, we are working on it and I'm really, really looking forward to catch up with the iOS development to the Android standards so that we both are at the same page and are working on the same product. Hope you liked it. Enjoy more photography and guess what? Have an awesome day!